Hello, I'm Anision, and I'd like to address all the I Betrayed My Wife videos. These videos have all gotten a lot of attention, but unfortunately a lot of people don't seem to realize that the ones uploaded to the Anision channel were actually jokes. Some individuals publicly embarrassed themselves by taking those videos too seriously, and as a result, used them to attack me as if I wasn't joking in those videos. And again, I want to thank all of you who attacked me based on those videos, because it's a huge compliment to my acting. Regardless, I'd like to see some public opinions on how my relationship is with my wife, as it better helps me understand where a lot of you are coming from and how you perceive me. Oh, here's something totally unrelated, but it was posted 10 hours ago. This person saying, real YouTube fans remember when Onision filmed his wife having a mental breakdown. One, she wasn't my wife, nor was she ever my wife. And two, I was informed that she herself admitted it was fake. But don't worry, you're not the only person who can't tell acting when it's slapping them right in the face. You're dealing with people who profit from getting attention. And that is exactly why you shouldn't take people like me too seriously, let alone tweet about things that you know almost nothing about. Here we have another person who obviously took those joke videos serious. The misinformation is strong on these internets. To be clear, I never ask nor ever want anyone I'm ever with to touch my my butthole. My butthole is for pooping. That is all. Another person who doesn't know acting when they see it. And another person who thinks that my wife and I are divorced. It's painfully awkward how uninformed you are, considering you're referencing something from a joke video I made months ago. And yet awkward, I've been making videos with my still wife every week for some time now. Maybe just delete that tweet. This person can delete their tweet too, unless you like looking ignorant. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Another tweet that needs to be deleted. I mean, unless you guys like having no credibility whatsoever. I mean, you have an anime avatar. Gotta say, I'm kind of with Filthy Frank on this one. This person says, funny how you're the one who got cheated on and robbed. Oh, they're responding to this. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. This is getting too complicated. This person's asking if I even know what love is. And they're saying they're asking that because according to them, I've cheated on almost all my significant others. Really? Because I've dated like 18 people. And the internet really only knows about like four of them. I even dated a super famous YouTuber for two weeks. You guys still don't know about her. And you never will. This person's claiming I cheated on them. Meanwhile, they have an anime avatar. So there's a 99.9% .9 chance I as a 30 year old would never date them. This person says, I say I treat women fair, but I cheated on my wife and I blame it on her. Durr. Hey Greg, where did you put the magic wand last night? Why? Lanny wants me to use it on her. Um, I think it's the second drawer down in that dresser. Wait, which drawer? The second one down. This person says, and my guess is you want to be with a guy who cheated on his wife because she snuggled with another woman. <laughs> And they're responding to, we are whatever we wish to be. It's very witty. The remote, like the, the one without the cord. She never uses that one. This door's not closing. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll be in in a minute, just wrapping up this video. And this person says, then again, Onision did get cheated on by someone years younger than him, and he apologized for it. So how can we trust him, LOL? What does that mean? I got cheated on, so I apologize? Ugh. Anyway, point is, there's obviously a lot of misunderstanding going on. So let me help you all better understand my relationship with my wife by saying,